What up, good people? It's the SMT. We're testing a newly upgraded T-Mobile N41 site. Uh, densification process is going pretty well for them here. Uh, they're starting to really build out pretty quickly. Most of the sites are getting done. Guys, let me show you guys. Let me zoom in here. All right, so the... Not the top level, but the second from the top. That's the T-Mobile gear. So you get all your lower frequencies in that larger set of antennas. And then just the left of it, you see that like rectangular one right there? That's the M41 gear. If you ever wondered what that looks like, and there's all the cables all over the place. You know how that goes. Uh, what do we got there? Hmm. I'm guessing that's uh, AT&T gear, or is that old Sprint? I don't know. It's still up here. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh. That looks like ATT gear actually. Whatever. We're here to test this. Ooh. Alright, so do we have 5G UC? Indeed we do. Alright, there we go. Alright, so 46 ping, 1.3 millisecond jitter, and we have just over 300 megabits per second. I don't think this is a site that gets a lot of usage. Maybe. But uh, the downlink looks a little bit restricted there. Could potentially be a fiber backhaul limitation, kind of a bottleneck situation going on there. No loss, but not the ideal capacity, right? Man, this brightness is really messing me up here. Okay, so 325 down, 113 up. I'll go ahead and test that again. All right, Verizon is not on this site, as you guys could see. Verizon's actually over the freeway on the other side. It's probably like a mile from here. And that's picking up DSS 5G. That site actually has some CBRS on there. I don't know if it's on yet, but I got to test that pretty soon. This is one of the tower sites that I pick up on my way to work. It's got decent range. This one works from a mile, which is pretty good. But um, what happens at that edge is this drops to about 230. The downlink drops to about 230. And then the uplink drops to like 4 to 8 megabits per second on the uplink. So... Uh, this is a pretty close site, right? We're, we're very close to it in proximity. So no surprise there that it's working well and performing well. From distance, I'm glad to see it working from about a mile, but the, that could be improved for sure. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of the performance here. Let me know what you think of the pace of these upgrades here in the CLE. Tell me about what you're seeing in your market. They're really pacing here. I'd say they're like approaching maybe 40 or 50% of the sites now. Not bad. They're doing pretty good. Uh, they're also kind of intercell aggregating too, like, you know, connecting it from site to site, even though it's not on a site, you'll connect to a site and it'll pull the signal from another site. I've seen that too, but, uh, the build's pretty quick. Uh, comment down below about what you guys think of this and how are things in your market. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like and a share. Subscribe for more from the SMT. Uh, check out the links in the description box, Patreon page, support us there, get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. Discounts and promos on Los Mobile through their Discord server. There's a shot of the gear. And also my Twitter handle and email are down there as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. See you all in the next one. Peace.